colder, hotter, longer noodle. That's his tagline. This might as well be on the state flag of California. I, I don't know if it's cursing, but I do think that it is putting some kind of spell on me. Noodle does know what happened to JFK, but he won't tell us. See, I can't do this because this is so inappropriate. <laughs> Hi everyone! Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Tools of the Trade. My name is Jonathan, this is Noodle, and this week we are going to be going through the box curated by Chris and Elsie of Deluxe Screen Printing in Los Angeles, California. Now these two badass ladies have a combined experience of more than 30 years in screen printing, and they do everything from t-shirts to uniforms to massive, massive decals, and they do it all with an eye coming from a lens of fine art art. They're incredibly meticulous with the work that they make and they try and use the best materials as possible. I'm so excited to go through this box, uh, mostly because I just moved into a new apartment. So I've been buying a lot of things that have been print screen prints and I'm, I'm absolutely fascinated by how people do it. And I really want to point something out before we get started. Um, Noodle uh, once took a class in screen printing when he was at community college and he failed. The first item we have in the LC and Chris box. I'm gonna call it the E and C box. I love that. <laughs> oh my god! Ha! Ah! For those of you who tuned into the Garrow Sparrow episode of Tools of the Trade, this might uh, come as very familiar. It is a storage case for a singular avocado. This might as well be on, I think, the state flag of California. It's so, because the thing is like a lot of our entrepreneurs like all use AirPods or they all always have like noise canceling headphones or a, you know, a snack. You'd never think to see uh, uh, another avocado holder. Obviously, you know, you could store an avocado in here, but I think, you know, you're in LA, right? You, your car keys, raw, unsalted nuts, anything really. I would encourage you to, to think outside the avocado holder. So the next item we have in this box is, a book called How to Invent Everything, a survival guide for the stranded time traveler. Elsie and Chris love to watch YouTube videos when they get stuck on how to do something. That's self-starter to the umpteenth degree. And again, Noodle and I are working on uh, our reading, so I want Noodle if you could just pick up um, right here under paper. We'll get there. We will get there one day. That's okay, sir. That's all right. Okay, the next item we've got. Ooh. Oh, I have this. Oh my gosh, I have this. It is a Bluetooth wireless speaker. Okay, so you know what? I don't know what people use this for. Mine is in my shower. And I will just kind of sit there scalding myself, maybe after a good cry, and I just listen to my favorite murder podcasts. I am obsessed with serial killers. Like, how could you do that? And I've tried to ask Noodle so many times. Like, he's totally cognizant of every single conspiracy theory I think that's ever happened. Like, Noodle does know what happened to JFK. But he won't tell us. He just won't say anything. Oh, but there's a little shower thing right on the side of it. I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that. There, every, other people do it. Oh, and then there's a photo of someone just like spraying it with a hose. So I guess they're, you know, really hardcore about how wet this can get. But then they show a photo of it underwater and they say no. So um, don't drown it, but otherwise you're in the clear. Okay, the next item we have in the box is organic coconut wraps. <laughs> they look so good. Um, not like this, they're just like a wrap, but even just the, the fact that they say that they're gluten-free, there's just three ingredients. I can imagine one of them is coconut, right? It must be. Only four net carbs, Noodle, look at this. Noodle doesn't believe in organic food. Noodle's like, give me some dried tomato. A lot of times when we have food products in here, I always think it's about mindfulness and how you take care of your body. And it's very clear that uh, Chris and Elsie, with their business and trying to be so conscious about um, uh, the processes they use and the materials they use and the effect that that has on the environment and animals and such, I can. This makes absolutely perfect sense. The next item we have in here is. <laughs> So I can imagine that most of you know what this is, but if you don't, it's like an apples to apples for adults. This is such a fun game to play. And I think this speaks to their sense of humor. <laughs> See, I can't do this because this is so inappropriate. Noodle, do you want to draw a prompt? What is Batman's guilty pleasure? All right, you got three more cards. Half-assed foreplay. 
at least he could go full tilt for a play. You're Batman, I'm sorry, you don't half ass anything. Okay, the next item we have in the E and C box is, oh, it's coffee. <laughs> And it's decaf coffee. Oh my God, wow. Okay, so this really has been a day of honesty. In our first episode, we talked about how we recently found out that my cholesterol is high. So now I, I, um, I've tried decaf and I find myself like very zen during the day, mostly because I just don't feel like my heart's gonna jump out of my mouth. But this also looks like real nice coffee. There are two kinds of people who drink decaf coffee. There are people who can't have caffeine, like me, and there are people who just love to go against the grain. Or in this case, against the bean. And I think that these two must be both. Woo, oh my God, there's a lot in here. The next item we've got in the box is, oh my God, it's so LA. These are charcoal sticks to put into a water bottle that provide excellent purification and absorb impurities from water and air, and the charcoal is from the Kishu region in Japan. So what I really like about this, again, is these are two women who are very conscious about what they're putting out into the environment, what they're putting out into the world, and clearly what they're putting into their own bodies. And now they can also hydrate themselves in a way that I guess humans haven't done in a while. I'm not gonna talk about skincare, because all I do is talk about skincare and apparently not my cholesterol, but I will say that if you want to take care of your skin and your body and everything about yourself, drink water. Hydrate, that's it. If you're tired, you're dehydrated. If you're nauseous, you're dehydrated. Or you could be sick. Or you could be dehydrated. I wonder if you could put this in like whiskey. Do you think it would make whiskey healthy? Well, you know what? We're gonna try that after this is over. The fact that they're reusable is awesome. And that you can put them in plants. So drink water and drink charcoal water. Okay, the next item we have in the Elsie and Chris box is what is this? Oh, it's like one of those like mega swell water bottles. So this is one that's like, keeps things cold for 24 hours and hot for 12 hours. And it's so big, you can put soup in it. Colder, hotter, longer. Noodle, that's his tagline. This is just a brilliant thing to keep on hand. I bet they stick their charcoal in here. Bam, keeps it cold, keeps it charcoal. I got so excited that I just like, Came back, this is amazing. Stay hydrated, stay charcoal hydrated, and buy Hydro Flask. It's not an ad. Okay, uh, the next. Big money, Spotify, you can't break it. They've already got a portable speaker, music, podcasts, everything. Once again, going back to Hillary Duff 2004, all of Metamorphosis is on Spotify. Also, $99. Super important thing for anyone to have, whether it's a Spotify or Apple Music or, you know, Tidal, whatever it is, having access to a streaming service, music at your fingertips is something that I value and I know that everyone that I know values, so this makes perfect sense. And whoever wins this box, put this to good use. Okay, the next thing we've got is a small velvet bag with a necklace with the letter D on it. <laughs> So good in gold. Um, so this is a necklace that they sent through. It's got the letter D on it for deluxe screen printing. And I love it because it's their, this business is their baby. It's something that they built from the ground up. And um, you know, I know a lot of people with like monogram jewelry or lockets or things like that. Like it, they keep it for sentimental value and there's something really special about keeping the name of your business around. Um, there's like a really wonderful sort of uh, connection that happens there. And again, oh my God, I'm in such a LA mindset now. I'm talking about the connection between a necklace and like your, oh, maybe I should live there. I think if I lived in Los Angeles, I'd be super chill. And noodles like always meant to be by the beach. We're both just gonna be like old, you know, women longing to live by the sea. But I really do love this. I think it's super sentimental and Noodle, you're actually gonna keep that up. And the final item we have in the Elsie and Chris box is a babble ball. A babble ball is a really fun toy for dogs, if you couldn't tell. They have a dog in their shop. Her name is Lola. And what's great about this little toy is it's a wonderful way not only to keep dogs. Oh, it it actually it actually babbles. I feel like I should have known that. 
Oh, it laughs at you too. I love this. Okay, so Lola is a fun little mascot in there. Okay, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna move. <laughs> Does it, does it have a mind of its own? Okay, so I put it down, so it's not gonna talk anymore. But the Babble Ball is a great way to keep your dog occupied. And I also have to say that as someone who does get to bring my dog to work, they are amazing to have in the office. Obviously, you know, uh, they're loving, they're caring, they're super sweet, they're dense. Um, but a lot of times they'll also like keep you on your toes. Like Noodle loves to just like run under people's desk and unplug all of their wires when he thinks they've been working too hard. All right, Noodle, you wanna play? I, I don't know if it's cursing, but I do think that it is putting some kind of spell on me. That being said, you can clearly see hours of stimulated fun. That's the Chris and Elsie box. And I have to say there was a lot of stuff in there and I absolutely loved it. They are both true artists with what they do. And it's very clear from what's inside of this box that they love working with each other. They have a good time doing it and they take care of themselves and they use good products. I'm going to now never drink water without charcoal. For Noodle, for myself, for Elsie and Chris, and from, honestly, we're gonna do from the charcoal. Thank you again so much for watching and we will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe on YouTube if you did like watching this video and be sure to tune in next time.